Uh, hi, um, meningiomas are usually benign and slow-growing tumors, which arise from the meninges, uh, which essentially are the cover of the brain. Uh, when these tumors arise from the base of the skull, that is when we call them skull-based meningiomas. They have different rates of growth and they can come from different parts of the base of the skull. Um, and that is how they are being classified. This really depends on the location and growth rate of skull-based meningioma. Uh, many of these tumors are asymptomatic for quite a long time. The symptoms could be caused as a result of pressure on the adjacent brain tissue, or sometimes the growth of the tumor around the cranial nerves, which can potentially affect the function of these nerves. As a result, patients might have blurred vision, uh, or hearing problems or other symptoms, which is caused by the pressure on these nerves. In many cases, the skull-based meningiomas are found incidentally when patients are undergoing investigation for other causes. So very rarely, these tumors can develop as a result of a previous radiotherapy or in the context of genetic diseases. But in majority of cases, the cause is unknown. So in general, there are three options when a patient is diagnosed with skull-based meningioma. The first option, if the tumor is small and is not causing symptoms, would be an active monitoring with monitoring MRI scans in a few months' time and following up the tumor with further MRI scans in future. The second option, which is a surgery, many skull-based meningiomas, particularly the ones which are located around the optic nerve or important neurovascular structures, will require a very complex skull-based surgery to be removed or sometimes to be devolved which means removing the bulk of the tumor. If the tumor is not completely removed, the residual tumor would be followed up closely by MRI scans in future. The third option is a radiotherapy. The radiotherapy could be in the form of a stereotactic radiosurgery, which is classified as gamma knife radiosurgery or cyber knife radiosurgery. And sometimes other modalities of radiotherapy is needed for treatment of meningioma or any residual tumor of the surgery. So this really depends on the size and location of the meningioma. Also, nowadays we check molecular um, profile of each tumor, each tumor separately as well. And this can be predictive of future growth in these tumors. Very rarely meningiomas are grade, uh, classified as grade two or grade three, which they show more aggressiveness. But in general, in terms of survival rate, it really depends on the size of the meningioma diagnosis, the treatment being done, and also the grading of the tumor. 